Good afternoon kids. This is teacher Divya. Welcome to Sunshine Kids online service. How are you today? I hope all of you are doing good. I'm sure most of you are enjoying your holidays. Well, today we have teacher Isaac to share with us on the parable of the lost sheep. Before that, let's invite Carmen to do the opening prayer. Hi, my name is Tan Carmen. Let us open in prayer. Dear God, it is amazing love that you sent Jesus to die for us. Bless teacher Isaac this afternoon as he shared on the parable of the lost sheep. We thank you for, for saving us, comforting us, and guiding us. Thank you for your forgiveness of our sin. We give thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Carmen, for the opening prayer. Shall we all stand up to recite the three P's? The first P, participate during praise and worship. The second P, pay attention during lesson. The third P, ponder and think about what God is saying to you. Well done kids. Now, let us invite the worship team to lead us all in praise and worship. Don't know 
Hi everyone, it's me teacher Isaac here. I'm sure most of you are in your school holidays. Today, I have something to share with all of you. Are you excited? Have you ever seen a tree trying to grow fruit? Trees don't try to grow fruit. Either they grow fruit or they don't. If a fruit tree has plenty of sunshine and plenty of water, it will grow fruits. The tree doesn't have to try. With plenty of water and sun as well as soil, the tree will grow and spread and yield all the oranges, apples or bananas or whatever fruits it was made to grow. Just as a tree does not try to grow fruit, we either grow as believers in Jesus or we don't grow. And just like a fruit tree, the Bible tells us that if we grow as believers, we will yield fruit. The fruit of believers is the fruit of the Spirit. That's our theme for today. And it's also our memory verse. If we are truly following Jesus and growing in our faith, we will produce the fruit of the Spirit just like a fruit tree at harvest time. I want all of you to take up your Bible and turn to Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23. Let us read together. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. If you look into the scripture, the first of these fruits is love. And that's where we will start today. Love is a word people use in many ways. We love our mom, we love our friends, we love pizza, we love chocolate, and many more. The Bible has a lot to say about love as well. 1 Corinthians tells us that love is patient and kind. It is not boastful or proud. It is not selfish. It is not easily angered and it never fails. Jesus taught a lot about love. He shared several parables that described how much he loved us and how we should love others. This parable is called the parable of the lost sheep. Let us go into the story. The parable of the lost sheep taken from Luke chapter 15 verses 1 to 7. Shepherding was a very common occupation during the time of Jesus. The people who were listening to Jesus telling this parable of the lost sheep knew how hard a shepherd worked and how dedicated he was to his flock. A shepherd cared for all of his sheep. It didn't matter if he had 10 sheep or a hundred. A good shepherd knew all of his sheep by name. He counted them every night and if one came up missing, 
he would risk his life and lean to go and find them. God loved us so much that he sent his one and only son to die for us. God doesn't want any of his sheep, any of us, to be lost. God loved us enough to die for us. If we are growing in our faith, we will love other people the way Jesus loved us. We won't judge others, but we will love and care for everyone who needs love. We will produce love like a fruit, and that fruit will help others come to believe that Jesus loves them too. Many people today think that love is just a thing. They think it's a feeling that can come and go. But the Bible teaches us that love is not an emotion, but an action. It is easy to say you love someone, but it's quite another to actually do it. The shepherd didn't just say he loved his sheep. He proved it. He left the flock behind and found the one that was lost. Jesus likewise did the same thing when he came looking for each and every one of us. He laid down his life for us. If we are a true followers of Jesus, we will do the same. Love means we put the needs of others ahead of our own needs. It means we are willing to give even when someone can't repay us. It means we are willing to help even when we are not asked. It means we are willing to sacrifice our time, our money, our energy, whatever it required so that we can show someone else that they are loved. Love is one fruit the whole world really needs desperately. We need to love people no matter who they are, where they come from, or what they believe. Just as Jesus loved everyone that crossed his path, we need to love our neighbors, our classmates, our friends. When someone needs help, we need to love them. When someone is mean to us, we still need to love them. When someone is hurting, we need to love them. Love is the first fruit of the Spirit. And the more we grow in Christ, the more we will love others. Let's commit to become growing Christians so that we can overflow with love to those who need it. Let's be Christians who seek after the lost sheep so that everyone can find their way into God's kingdom. I hope all of you have been blessed by today's message. So please remember, we have to love everyone just as how God loved each one of us and He was willing to die on the cross for our sins. Without God's love, none of us would be saved and we would not have eternal life. Therefore, let's make a decision. Let us love one another. It's okay if your friends have hurt you or have done anything wrong to you. It's okay, let's forget about the past. Let us love everyone. Okay, let's show God's love through us so that others out there will be blessed through us. Amen? So let us pray. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful afternoon that you have given us, Lord. Lord, I pray that thank you for help us to learn about your love and about the story of the parable of the lost sheep. Thank you, Father, that we know that you have sent your one and only Son to die on the cross for each and every one of our sins, Father. We know your love is great, Lord, Father. There is no love that can be compared to your love, Lord, Father. Lord, we pray that this love will come deep into our lives, Lord, Father, that our lives will be transformed, Lord, Father, so that we will be able to love others as how you loved us, Lord, Father. Lord, although we may have gone through many painful situations or our friends may have hurt us or have done mean things to us, Lord, Father, that it made us so angry that we can't even forgive them or love them, Father. Lord, I pray that you give us the strength, Father, give us the heart, Father, so that we will be able to forgive them and to love them as how you have loved us, although we may 
mistakes at times, Lord Father. Lord, I pray that this lesson will sink deep into our hearts, Father, and it will bear good fruits for you, Lord Father. Help us to be the, the tree that grows fruit for you, Lord Father. Help us to flourish, Father. May this love grow and yield good fruits for you so that our life will be a pleasing sacrifice unto you, Lord Father. Help us, Lord Father, to be salt and light wherever we go, Father, so that your love will continue to be spread everywhere that we go, Father, that through us, your name alone will be glorified, Father. Thank you for this day once again, Father. We commit everything into your hands. In Jesus' name we ask and we pray. Amen. Okay, kids. So I have an interesting game to play with all of you. So I have three bowls with me and then a 50 cent coin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this coin into one of these bowls and then I'm going to shuffle them and you're supposed to guess where is this coin. So shall we start? Can you guess where is the coin? This? Okay, let us see. Oh, yes! The coin is here. Okay, very good. So let's try another round. It's not here. Oh, so let's find out where is it. Any guesses? Is it here on my right or on my left? On my right. Oh no, it's not there. It's actually on my left. Very nice. Okay, now I'm going to try with two coins. And you're supposed to guess which bowl do not contain any of the coins. Okay? So let's try. Okay. Okay, let's guess which bowl does not contain any coins. This. Of this, of this, which one? This, let's see. Whoa, yes! So both the coins are in these two bowls. Okay, good job. So you can actually play this game with your family or with your friends. Okay, it's an interesting game. So it's like a modern version of hide and seek. Okay, hope you had a good time. Okay kids, so I hope all of you have learned much about this parable of the lost sheep as well as God's love. Therefore, that's the end of our sharing for today. I'll see you guys soon. Take care and may God bless you. Bye. Wow, what an impactful message about God's love and the parable of the lost sheep. I am so blessed by the message and I hope you are blessed too. Continue to share God's love with others so that everyone can experience it. Well, next Sunday, we will be having SSK graduation via Zoom. Do join us next week to cheer for our graduates. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. We will see you next Sunday. And check us out on our Facebook page for more updates. See you then. Bye.